you must read always my written message on the right of this detail inspired on Revelation chapter 17 you must read that chapter in order to understand my message I will show you the judgment of the great whore that sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and those on earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. I saw a woman sit on a scarlet beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and a scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. On her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. I wondered with great admiration. Now is the time for you, you, you to surrender your life to Jesus. Think of the Twin Towers, the Iraq War, foolish nations, including the United States are making fuel for cars with grains now very expensive. The volcano in Chile, the My Myanmar misery, and just today's powerful earthquake in China. The mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which had seven heads and ten horns. The beast was and is not and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. <laughs> the Pope is the beast and he represent the most evil teachings on earth. In Mexico and in Latin America, millions go on bloody knees, walking on bloody knees to ask help to a hellish Catholic statue thousands of them which the Pope praises. So the Pope is a dire direct 
son of Satan, because only Satan is pleased to see people on bloody knees before hellish Catholic statues. They who dwell on earth will wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is here is the mind which has wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman that is the Vatican sits there are seven kings five are fallen and one is and the other is not yet come and when he comes he must continue a short space the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goes to perdition the ten horns are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but receive power as kings one hour with the beast these have one mind and will give their power and strength to the beast this shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, for he is Lord of lords, and King of kings, and they that are with him are called, and chosen and faithful. My message is so that you will be one of those with Jesus. The waters where the war sits are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Hope you are not one of these. And the ten horns of the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. God put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God will be fulfilled. The woman is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth my mission on earth is to open your eyes so you will get out from the catholic church and uh, save your soul by burning everything catholic which you may have god wants you 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 to follow only his word and his son jesus christ and not hellish teachings from the pope make a decision for Jesus right now use your mind use your reasoning no uh, healthy mind no healthy reasoning may accept that millions upon millions may walk on bloody knees to see a hellish statue in all Mexico. The Catholic Church has thousands upon thousands of statues in all Mexico and all Latin America. You must understand, even a child can understand that only Satan is pleased with this very great evil which comes from the popes, from the Vatican, from the Catholic organization. Save your soul today. Today is